Okay, so this goes for all iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. Okay, basically you have an issue in regards to your mobile network, okay? You'll have like no service up here or it'll constantly be on searching, all right? I'm gonna give you guys several steps, what you can do before you actually have to bring your phone in for service, okay? So first thing is first, let's do this. Let's go ahead and power down the phone. Power it off, and then what you wanna do is you wanna take out your SIM card. You can use your uh, key pin, or you can use the back of an earring stud, or even like a skinny paper clip will work, okay? So go ahead and just eject it like this. Put it back in, reinsert it and power up your device okay now wait for this to boot back up and hopefully your phone is back up and running if it's not we're gonna to go to the next step okay now this next step is basically we're going to be resetting our network settings resetting your network settings will not delete any like photos or videos or documents or files or anything that is just simply resetting your network settings in other words once you do this next step what's going to happen is you're going to lose all your Wi-Fi passwords okay so once you go through the um, this uh, reset network settings process once it uh, reboots boot your phone back up you will have to re-enter your like Wi-Fi uh, home network password again okay so let me go to go into my phone now. I mean, hopefully your phone is back up and running now. If it's not, we're going to go to the next step. So you want to click on settings. From here, we want to go to general. And then from here, we want to go to reset. And then we want to click on reset network settings. All right, click on that. Put in your, uh, your passcode here. And now it says, this message will pop up here. It says, this will delete all network settings, returning them to factory defaults. Again, this is not going to delete any of your photo, photos or videos or any files or documents. It's just resetting your, uh, your network. Okay? So once you go ahead and click on Reset Network Settings, you got to wait for your phone to boot back up. Once it boots back up, hopefully you guys... Um, service is back on okay now also once this boots back up too, you know you're gonna you want to get on your Wi-Fi network at home you are going to have to re-enter your password okay so give us a second to boot back up and uh, hopefully your phone is already working if it's not we're going to go to the next step Okay, so, well, now hopefully you do have service. You should be able to see your uh, mobile provider up here. If not, no problem. We're going to go to the next step. Next step is go back into settings. And then from here, airplane mode, what we want to do is we want to turn, air, um, turn on airplane mode. Turn on, off. On, off. On, then off and then give it a few seconds and hopefully it finds your network okay if it doesn't we're gonna to go to the next step next up is right down here it says do not disturb click on do not disturb and you want to click on manual off and on three times okay on off on off on off and hopefully you'll see that your network will be back up and if it's not, we're going to go to the next step. Next step is we want to go back into the settings here. And then from here, what we want to do is we want to go to carrier. Okay, and what you can do from here, you see that it's on automatic. Go ahead and turn it off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay, and hopefully your phone, um, you'll be able to see your, your network provider up here. If it's not, Go back to automatic and turn off. And let's wait for it to search. Now I'm located here in the US, so we should be able to see like um, other network providers here in the US, like T Mobile, AT&T, uh, I think Verizon would be on there. 
So give this a second. Sometimes this takes a while. Okay, and you can see yeah, Verizon is on there. Sprint is on there. So I have T-Mobile, I mean, you would pick your service provider. And then just go ahead and give this like 10, 15 seconds and hopefully it finds your network, okay? If it doesn't, let me just go back into automatic here. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna go back into, or we're gonna go to the next step, okay? Next step is this, you're back into settings, you wanna go to general and you want to scroll down and you want to go under date and time okay now this will only happen basically if you guys just got your battery like changed or whatnot so go ahead and take um, set automatically go ahead and turn that off and make sure that you guys are on the correct uh date as along with the year too okay so if i click on that if you're like on 19 i don't know 1980 then you want to scroll up to go further so this will change from 2016 to 2017 you just, I mean, if you're 1980, then you got to keep scrolling, okay, constantly. So I can change that to 2017. Ah, almost. There we go, 2017. If you want to go back, then you would just scroll down like this, okay? And then once you get to the right time, hopefully your um, your mobile service will be up, okay? If it's not... I got one more thing that you guys can try is you go into settings here. Uh, go into settings and then go under settings and go right to where it says phone here. Click on your phone. And then if you scroll all the way down, it says SIM pin here. Click on that and you have to make sure that your SIM is not locked. It has to be on the off position here, okay? Not on, but off, just like this. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys still have like issues, you very well may need a new SIM card. And, and it can still also be a hardware issue. It could be a chip or your antenna inside the phone. And it, all, it can also still be a software issue, okay? Maybe you still may need to update your phone or maybe you need some kind of patch. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.